yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Nick Chubb, a 10-yard touchdown. She able to stretch that big lead even further. Tucker with the extra point, and the route is on here. This. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. On second down, it's Cook. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And Cook getting the call there on first down as he works his way forward for a nice gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. The numbers for the NFC on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're up against a third and... situation from midfield here's Rodgers and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 and that's well executed there on third down and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision and QBs love to make that easy throw and they hook the ball comes out but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds you can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and that's picked up by the AFC. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. Allen's throw complete here to Waller. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 29, Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. Touchdown! Darren Waller, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the AFC just continues to pour it on. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go <laughs> A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. To throw again on second down. Rodgers. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on to punt for the NFC. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. And he had the touchdown of the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big play there for the AFC. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. They max protect. Bring everyone in, keep the tight end in, an extra back to make sure the quarterback has time to deliver the football. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. On second down now, it's Jacobs. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. The AFC thus far on third down. They haven't been stopped yet. A perfect seven for seven. This time they face a third and two. Oh. 
So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And now they'll throw with Allen. Second down and goal, Allen. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Josh Allen, a three-yard touchdown run. And the AFC able to stretch that big lead even further. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Tucker now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's picked up by the AFC. They ain't ready for us. And he is going to bring this one back. A fumble return for an AFC touchdown. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble think you got a chance at a turnover and instead not only do you give up the football you also give up a touchdown as well yeah you just think to yourself you've done all the hard work right you forced the fumble but when they didn't come up with it I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them Tucker able to connect on the extra point and the lead will swell by one more the scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Now it's Patterson. And he loses the football a second time, and that's picked up by the AFC. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Allen now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all the views coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. So that challenge is successful one. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Allen to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Steps away. Right back for Allen. This time he finds him complete. And he'll be out of bounds. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. 
And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Keenan Allen there to make the grab. And the AFC just continues to pour it on. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Tucker now to add the point after. And the route is on here in this first half. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Here's Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And the NFC punt team out there now, he's been one of their few bright spots so far. To return is Roberts. Twenty-one yards. Well done on the return. And the AFC will take over first and ten. Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. I'm sure he wanted to have a huge game, wants to have a huge game as the quarterback, but really on the ground, they've been very, very hard to stop. Maybe you just keep going to that well. I think so, and isn't it funny how the definition of balance changes for us from game to game? Sometimes it's like 50-50, run it, throw it. Sometimes it's just being a balanced running team in terms of who's carrying yeah, the football. More than one guy. Right, multiple guys out there, and now your guy back there has to throw it. Doesn't have to worry about it quite as much. And they've got the lead here in the second quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now the AFC going to use their final timeout of the half as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, Jacobs once more. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So we have hit halftime with the Pro Bowl with the AFC leading the NFC. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today. It's broadcast in the beginning of the third quarter. Here's Koo to kick it off. Roberts now to return it. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The offense for the AFC set to go now. Mahomes now on first down. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. 
So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Mahomes throw taken in by Diggs. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. Flag down. Let's see if this will stand. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't would even do for know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. And that's picked up by the AFC. And it's a touchdown. Matthew Slater, 28 yards. And the AFC able to stretch that big lead even further. I'm glad we were paying attention during the rules seminar because we learned the only time you can't advance a fumble like that is in the last two minutes of either half. Right, other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. That's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Rodgers. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And that's picked up by the AFC. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Now Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes to the goal line, but it's incomplete. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Now here's Mahomes, and that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the AFC just continues to pour it on. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And that's picked up by the AFC. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a stop short of the 35. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On the move to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jair Alexander in from the corner to make the sack. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. And that drive. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. A.J. Brown, 42 yards. And the AFC able to stretch that big lead even further. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that one up. And the NFC punt team out there now, he's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here now Roberts pushing through the contact. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. a 19-yard return and the offense will take over with a new set of downs Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at about the 32 and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down the last run good for two here's second and eight they keep it on the ground this time it's Henry broken tackle and some room to maneuver and they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done and even 100 yards rushing for him now as he continues to lead the way for the AFC. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And they run the option here on first and 10. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw, rolling to his left. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Edwards Alaire. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire taking it in from two yards out. And the AFC just continues to pour it on. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they? Tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end. We saw evidence of that on that play. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first. And the NFC punt team out there now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. 
This will be taken at the 13. 51 yards on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Two touchdowns to his credit so far. Charles, I'm curious, do these wide receivers, what are they going with each week? Is it different week to week for the goals that they personally set for themselves, do you think? I doubt that it's different from week to week. Maybe because of game plan, they know that one guy might be featured more than the other. But all in all, these guys are looking for 100 or more yards in, in receiving. But the biggest thing, getting into the end zone. And how about him? He's gotten there, too. in this game he has indeed they'll fake the handoff now Watson and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one and he will have a first down here at about the 40 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point Now a first down throw, Watson dancing to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now Watson. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrives, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Working with his second and four. Watson. Being chased out left. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. To throw is Watson. They set up the screen for Henry. Touchdown! Derrick Henry! from eight yards out. And the AFC able to stretch that big lead even further. Tucker with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. It's football. And that's picked up by the AFC. One and he is going to bring this one back. A fumble return for an AFC touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Now it's Patterson. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's picked up by the AFC. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. As that ball got away from him, 
and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Watson now going to keep it. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Deshaun Watson, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the AFC just continues to pour it on. Great play, but admittedly, the tackling in the Pro Bowl, Charles, not always the best. I would say that they're not quite as committed to getting a guy on the ground in the Pro Bowl as maybe during the regular season and, of course, in the playoffs. But still, heck of an individual effort there on that run. Tucker with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. And he loses the football a second time. And that's picked up by the AFC. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Watson's throw here complete to Kelsey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Deshaun Watson with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the AFC able to capitalize on the fumble recovery as it leads to six points. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL. And it's a fumble. And that's picked up by the AFC. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Now a throw for the all-pro Kelsey is complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Three yards the gain there, second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. 
116 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, it's Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now it's Watson. Fighting throw. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. And they're going to go with the jet sweep. This is Diggs with it. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Stephon Diggs. A five-yard touchdown run. And the AFC able to stretch that big lead even further. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays, and this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. Tucker with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going... And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover, but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover. If you give up the football, it gave up the football. Mm, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let a, you go. I took a shot. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Rodgers. The tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From the 36, Rodgers going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. <laughs> to throw, it's Rodgers. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Now Rodgers, he's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon, it's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A give. This is Camara, And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12.
Rodgers now to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A give. This is Cook. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. And this one is right through. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Back out is the AFC offense. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast for you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us, stretch this thing out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. They find some open field here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll try the air now with Watson. Forced out to his... And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. Got a man. It's Brown. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Out to his left. And it's caught. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage, taking off and throw it over your head. And all oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Flushed out right. The AFC went for it, and it doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Steps away to it. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. And the NFC punt team out there now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. 
That's pulled in at the 32. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the AFC with the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. Bulldozes past him. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now the AFC going to use their final timeout of the half as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's probably running them into some. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact, the turnover. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second and look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Turn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. 